Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dan Harper Realtors. Now on my channel, I do my best to keep my viewers informed what's going on in the real estate market in the San Antonio and Texas Hill Country area. I've got quite a few potential buyers shopping for down the road looking to buy on one acre lots. Now there's not a lot of one acre lot communities that's still building right now. George's Ranch is up and coming in Bernie, but we got a brand new community called Enchanted Bluff in Garden Ridge. Now on my opening slide, I put a little pin for a map so you can see that it's not far from Randolph Air Force Base, exactly 25 minutes or 28 minutes from here. But you are in the Texas Hill Country, a very quiet community. So I'm super excited to show off the early stages of it not going to be an exciting video, but I want to be the first one to get information out about Enchanted Bluff. There's a couple of nice production home builders that's going to be building their top of the line homes in there. Monticello, Toll Brothers, and Sitterly are all going to be building their top end products out here, along with some custom home builders. And there's going to be the Parade of Homes for 2024 is going to be in this very community. All right, enough of me chatting. Let's go for a ride, a realtor ride. All right, before we hop on to my beautiful Tiger 900 GT Pro, if you're looking for more information on this community, click this QR code. That's gonna put you in uh, contact with my favorite Monticello sales rep, Miss Tracy Stockton. And she's got tons of information on this community and tell her you heard it from Jason Payne, Cole Banker D and Harper Realtors. Now, beautiful oak trees out here. It's a really quiet part of the community. I love Garden Ridge. This area is where the money used to be, but they haven't built new homes here in quite a while. So I'm excited to see new communities coming up. All right, let's hop on the bike. Our right, we're in record mode. So my Tiger 900, yes, it can tell me that. But what road we're on, we're on Bat Cave Road in Garden Texas. And it's got the name because there is a huge bat cave not far from here with millions of bats in it. And that's not something scary. That's really good to keep the bugs down. Uh, but if you go down to the left, you're about four minutes to hitting 3009 towards Natural Bridge Caverns. And if you come out to the right here, uh, you're also about four minutes to hitting 2252 slash Nacogdoches. And depends on which way you go on that, it can send you into the northeast part of San Antonio without having to get onto I-35, which is a good thing, or into the Shirt Cibolo area, also without having to get onto I-35. All right. This is gonna be mostly a nature tour. You see off in the distance, there's the JW Marriott. But uh, I'm trying to be the first to give you any information on this beautiful neighborhood. As you can tell, lots of oak trees. I really like this place a lot. And uh, as I mentioned in the intro, Garden Ridge used to be the place where um, the money in the northeast part of San Antonio moved out to. But there really hasn't been any construction out here since the mid 90s so when you look into these other one acre lot communities like oh my gosh it's gorgeous but the homes are definitely dated uh it's kind of crazy when you go into some of these houses like wow that's going to take a lot of updates just to bring it up to modern but <clears throat> this is a wonderful community uh Monticello, Sitterly, Toll Brothers were all really good top of the line production builders. And uh, I'm excited to sh showcase this community. I'm excited to see it going forward. But I want to be the first one to bring information. There's the sign over there saying Parade of Homes coming to this community. But plenty of lots to be choosing from. So this is a great time to come out here before the top of the line lots uh, get picked out and it looks like I'm already going to do my first U-turn all right because that's going off to somebody else but looks like there's going to be gated entries coming to and from this community and multiple boys to get in This is not going to be a huge community so yeah this is not going to be the next vintage oaks uh <clears throat> this is meant to be more of a quiet secluded community uh, minimum lot size is going to be one acres uh, some of the lot sizes are going to be like 1.2 1.3 acres so kind of right in that sweet spot where you've got enough privacy but you're also not super far away from folks uh but yeah there's the parade of homes coming and uh, i'm excited to see that happening looks like we've got one model home being built here already so yep if you slow down and hit pause you can hit the qr codes for those and get more information 
You do have some telephone wires back that away, but they're not that big or intrusive. But so many really nice oak trees in the location. If you're looking for like to the one acre lot community with easy access to everything on the northeast part of San Antonio, or if you're a retired officer and still want access to uh, Randolph Air Force Base, uh, this is a wonderful spot for it. I'm retired Air Force and uh, I use the, for my clinic, I go to the, oh there's the, some T-38s flying up above there. Not a large sound thing. Uh, Randolph is a training base, so you're not gonna have like the F-16s over unless there's an air show, which one's coming up this uh, late spring. But that's the only time you really hear them. Let's go down. Nope, that's a dead end. Um, but yeah, there's just so much going on on this part of town. I live in shirts myself. Absolutely love the convenience of everything. And I do take the back roads to the hill country quite a bit because yeah, I'm on my motorcycle and I try to avoid the highways as much as possible. But yeah, just beautiful out here. School district, that's very important to people, especially if you got uh, teenagers or middle school. Um, this is Comel ISD. Look up the ratings on them. They just built a new high school not far from here. So it's pretty brand new. Uh, so, um, yeah, excited for that. But yeah, Monticello's got a lot of these larger, like I said, one acre lots out here, Sitterly. So this is a, and I've done some of their higher end homes. I need to go back and re-video the Sitterly model home in Bell Oaks. I did that a while back, but my sound was jacked up and I never redid it. <clears throat> but Monticello's got some gorgeous homes. Uh, Price-wise, these are probably going to be in the 900 to $1 million homes out here because they're going to go pretty uh, fancy-dancy. But prices can change. As I'm filming it, it is 8 February. My little girl Amy just turned uh, 11 years old yesterday, so that's awesome. But yeah, lots of uh, available sites for the Sitterly. Um, unlike communities like Bell Oaks or Vintage Oaks, the builders own these lots. So there might be a few lots where a uh, custom home builder has already bought, but this isn't going to be a community where you can buy the lot, sit on it for uh, a couple of years, and then bring your own builder in. So you are kind of limited to these builders, but they are some great builders. And it does simplify the process. Uh, it can be very helpful on your marriage if you're going through a production builder and you're not having to make every single decision they can kind of pick out a plan pick out your upgrades in it and keep it keeps the process a lot simpler than oh my gosh we've got a bazillion decisions to make all right well i think we're back towards the beginning already like I said, this is not going to be the biggest community. So if you're interested in Enchanted Bluffs, uh, you kind of got to move fast or these are going to be sold out pretty quickly. It's not a large community, but it is a one acre community with nice convenient access to a lot of different things. Anyways, I told you this wasn't gonna be a long video. I also told you it wasn't gonna be an exciting video. But if you found this information uh, informative, Feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final slide. I had someone say they had a hard time finding my contact information. I'm like, well, put it on the final slide of everything. But oftentimes people already clicked off the video before we get to the final slide. So, uh, yeah, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help or uh, click that QR code, like I said in the beginning, contact Tracy. But do me a favor, let her know you saw this video. Um, I feel like I drive a lot of business to some of these builders and uh, and that's okay. If And if you already got a realtor, stick with your realtor. But if you don't, feel free to give them their name, especially if I'm the reason you're reaching out to them. It doesn't cost you anything extra. All right, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, please share these videos with your friends and family, especially if you know someone can, that's considering moving to the Texas Hill Country. All right, take care now. Bye.